I'm calling this lesson how to make an X disappear or losing an X. Uh, the file that I'm going to use in this lesson is this file right here, losex.jpg. Um, and in using this file, I need to make you aware that I am not saying that this guy should be lost from this family. I don't know this family. I just found this image on the internet. Uh, but if you want to get download this picture, you right-click right here in the Photoshop interface for the community ad and right-click download it to a file you want and then open it inside of Photoshop. I'm going to do it quickly by just dragging it from my bridge uh, area and into the Photoshop interface. All right, so here we have this, and this is the fellow I'm going to um, make disappear. I'm sure he's a nice guy, but I really don't have much use for him. Uh, I do want to point out something in this image right from the start. Uh, there's some really interesting lines in here that all point to this guy in the middle. Notice this line goes up here. This line goes across to here. The, this line goes here. Did I just say across? I meant across. And what I like is how these two people here, these all point to him. This leg, this diagonal points to him. So you get this feeling of everything moving towards the center. I just wanted to point that out because I think this is a good job of posing by the uh, photographer or the poser, the person who is posing these people. Uh, he probably wasn't a poser in the um, street vernacular. Uh, now, we want to get rid of this fellow. There's a couple of ways we can do this. I'm going to start with one way. I'm going to use this, uh, this clone stamp tool right here. And I'm going to kind of uh, paint out this border right here. And to be able to do this accurately, I'm going to zoom in on this area. And then I'm going to choose uh, some some of the colors from right here using the clone stamp tool. So, I'm, And a thing I want to make sure that you need to be aware of these options in the clone stamp tool. Uh, right now I have the hardness at 84%. Usually the default is going to be at 0% depending on which uh, of these you use. Uh, 30 pixels is the size. What I want to do is I'm going to use some of these colors right here to paint out right here. So I'm going to hold down the Alt key and I'm going to click right there while I have the clone stamp tool. And this, when I start painting right here along along this edge of, the, of uh, Esmeralda, or I'm going to call him Hector and call her Esmeralda, as I paint right here, it's going to have a little X. Notice up where I clicked just a second ago while I held that, the, the Alt key down. Notice there's that little crosshairs that appears. That means we're copying from that area up there down to right here. Now, you'll notice that I'm not painting very much each time I do this. That's because I have this opacity at 55% and I have it kind of in a safe, soft light mode. So I'm going to change it to normal because I just want to be able to paint this without it. And I'll have to go over it two or three times to make it get this. Now, it's not going to look very good right now. I'm not going for good a good look right now. What I'm going for is just kind of paint in this area next to Esmeralda's uh, blouse or whatever her sweater that she's got on there. So I'm just going to go along the edge right here because the whole idea is as I get this done, I want Hector to disappear. He, I'm going to make up a story about Hector. We're going to say he's not a good family member. He um, likes to swear and throw things. And so I'm just going to very carefully along that edge paint in from, oh, now we're getting close to his face. That's going to paint his face. So I'm going to just go up here to Alt again. I'm going to I click Alt, Alt click up here so I can continue to uh, use those pixels up there. And I just want to get the border of Esmeralda's um, sweater or blouse or whatever that is she's wearing. I don't want to go too far into his head. I'm just going to go a little more right here. And that's grabbing from up too high. So I want to Alt click right there. Go in just a little more, and we want to get rid of that. All right. Now, my next step is I want to circle around here with this uh, this patch tool. Uh, oh, oh, excuse me. I don't want to do that. I want to use this lasso tool. And I am just going to do a rough lasso around right here. I'm going to lasso through this middle part, go over uh, the guy's head down there, and go around Hector a little ways. And uh, now I'm going to do some magic. I'm going to go edit. Now, this isn't going to work perfectly. It's going to pull in some faces from around it. What this fill does that I'm going to do, I'm going to do a content aware, and it's going to fill in the selection that I've created. And it's going to end up grabbing 
you know, random bits from around here, some of these faces and that, but it's also going to fill in a lot of a Hector. So I'm going to click OK. And there it fills it in. It, it grabs some of these other areas, but it does get rid of a lot of Hector. That's OK. Uh, I could try it again to make it, but that's really not going to do me much more good. A uh, eh, little bit more good. Eh, maybe I'll do it one more time just for fun. See if it'll keep filling in. Yeah, it makes it worse. It does it does this random thing, so it's taking you know bits of faces from around here. But that's okay. I'm going to deselect that by just clicking with the lasso tool there. I can go Control D to deselect also. But now I'm going to use this patch tool. Now this patch tool, I want to use a normal blending mode, and don't worry about that. And I'm going to use the source right here. Uh, and I'll, I'll show you what the difference between source and destination is. So I'm going to grab an area right here. Oh, sorry. I'm going to grab an area right here, and I'm going to drag this to up here. And notice what it does. It takes pixels from up here, and it puts it in this area where I can patch. I'm going to do it again right here. I'm going to drag up here, and those people disappear. They were nice people. Do you see why I did that little border here at the start? And now I'm going to do a little bit more right around the hair right here. And I'm going to pull from an area up here, about right there. And we, we still have some of that right there. But I'm going to do just a little bit more. I'm going to grab right here and move it over here. And now we're starting. To, it's starting to look like Hector's gone. But I have a problem right there on the top of... Um, of, of uh, Jerry's head right there. I'm going to call him Jerry. And I am going to use the rubber stamp tool to select an area right here, maybe right here, and I'm going to paint that area right here. So I'm going to hold down my Alt key while I use the patch tool. And you'll notice my settings. The opacity is at 55%, flows at 100% using normal blending mode. And now when I paint, I'm just going to paint over that area, paint over that area. Let's get rid of a little more of that skin that was from Hector. And now we're starting to see this kind of blend in nicely. I'm going to use a fuzzier brush. So I'm going to go fuzzy brush. And I'm going to make the brush a little larger. I'm going to take this area up here and I'm just going to kind of paint over that and that will get rid of some of those lines that I put in there. And now when we zoom out, control zero, that Looks all right. It looks a little bit sloppy. I think I'm going to do one more th thing with that. I'm going to go to the patch tool again. I'm just going to kind of to smooth this area out. Just grab this area and move it up here and have that fill it in. And that looks, that's starting to look like it's part of the painting in the background. Let me do a little more here. I think I didn't do that there. And that looks... That looks pretty good. I mean, Hector's gone. Esmeralda's a little bit happier. Um, Jerry's doing all right. And uh, the picture even actually looks a little more balanced because we don't have any as many people on this side. Uh, Hector was taking this picture all out of balance anyways. Well, I, it kind of filled in this area above him. But th that's using a few tools. I, I'm using, I use this, uh, the, the, the patch tool the fill tool and the rubber stamp to the clone stamp tool to um, take care of this. Now, you'll notice that I took a guy from the edge. Oh, I forgot to duplicate the thing. I took a guy from the edge. Let me let me uh, do something here. That was the original. Let me go back. Notice that's how it looked. It looks it's pretty good. I could probably smooth out Esmeralda's boss. But um, what was I going to say? No, I'm not going to worry about it right now. It does It does look like, though, that balances it out a little more. So, you know, let's do that. But, you know, either way, uh, we're doing okay. Uh, so we use those different tools to get rid of this. Oh, the thing that I was going to say, if we wanted to get rid of somebody in the middle, say we want to get rid of this fellow right here, I, that would be very difficult because we would have to reconstruct his shirt and his shirt and uh, 
and that's difficult to do. We'd probably have to, I don't know, uh, that would be something that uh, it's possible, but it's hard to make it look really good, but it could be done. Uh, anyways, I'm going to end it right there. Uh, I will see you in the next lesson.